All right, here's my newly installed automatic uh, chicken coop door. I've got a uh, solar panel. That's why I do a 12 volt battery. It's up in the roof on the inside and then a couple timers and a relay. And then uh, here's a linear actuator that's holding the door shut right now. And in a second, I've got it so it's uh, gonna run a test and open and then wait a minute and then shut. And uh, so here it goes. And the nice thing about linear actuator is it's, uh, this one's rated for 100 pounds. So there's no way, you know, if snow is on it or ice, I mean, it could, it could lift uh, 100 pounds. I think it's 225 for, uh, you know, quick loads. So it's, it's overkill, but that's the one I could find. It's got internal limit switches, so in a second it's going to hit the retract limit and then it shuts off automatically. And then, so that's uh, the equivalent of the, the morning run. So I'll go around here and show you what it looks like inside. Hi, girls. Now here's my clean out door. Those come out if I want to scrape the whole thing out. And so I'm climbing in. And then over here is where the uh, solar panel lead comes in, and then the two leads for the um, uh, you know the linear actuator go out. And then up top here, I've got a giant uh, 12 volt battery. Uh, overkill, but was it? It's what I had. And then I got two timers and a DP DT relay wired as an H bridge up in the corner there. So the way it works is um, the timer on the left fires twice, once in the morning and once at night. And then the only difference is um, to reverse the polarity to the linear actuator, the uh, timer on the right turns on for one of those runs. So if, like the way I just had it was uh, in the morning, that open run that we just went through, the, uh, the timer on the right is reversing the polarity. So that's going to shut off in a second. And then uh, the timer on the left is going to kick back on again. I got it set for um, 2.52 is when it's going to shut, so another 10 seconds or something. So the timer on the right is going to shut off, so now the polarity is back to, it's not reversed anymore. And then the timer on the left is going to turn back on. And we'll go back outside. And door is closing. And the nice thing about the linear actuator again is it's a worm gear, so once it closes, and then it, again it hit the limit switch, the timer on the inside is still on with the limit switch, you know, shut off power to the, the motor. So there is no way that can move. There's, you know, it's raccoon proof, <laughs> human proof. Uh, and uh, so it'll, we live in Vermont, and so I needed something that would close it, you know, regardless of if there's a little snow or whatever in there. And uh, this is the ticket, so. Um, let's see, in terms of prices, uh, the solar panel was 30 bucks. I got most of this on Amazon. Linear actuator was um, 60 bucks. Uh, oh, I got it through a website. They sell it on eBay too, but it's uh, mypushcart.com. So 30, 60, that was 90 so far. And then uh, the two timers inside were ten dollars each from Amazon, so that's one ten. And uh, let's see. Then the relay I got from um, Amazon has them too, but I, I wanted it right away, so I got that from Radio Shack. That was ten bucks, so one twenty. And then wiring and a little uh, connectors and stuff was probably another ten. And then uh, I had a battery lying around, so it was about. You know, I think you could build this for like 130, 140, something like that. But the nice thing is, it's it's bomb proof and it's pretty simple. I don't know that much about electronics, but um, wiring that relay as an H bridge, you just make an X between the normally closed and normally open contacts, and then you run the uh, wires from the the common down to that. That's uh, that's what these are, the common, and then they just go down to your linear actuator, and then you wire that timer goes to the coil and again that timer just drives the uh, I drives the uh, you wire the, the power to one side of the of the relay and that's it pretty simple and hopefully it works pretty well